Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Unlocked Show. I'm your host, Tracy Wilson, and it's my absolute pleasure to be here with you guys today. If you are here for the very first time, a huge big welcome to you. We are currently streaming live across multiple channels on Facebook uh, and also on YouTube. So welcome to today's show. I'm going to be talking with a very special guest very, very shortly, and we're going to be talking about how to create, how to create images that actually engage your prospects and turn them into paying clients. So if you are somebody who has currently got, you know, social media, you've got Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, LinkedIn, all of these different uh, social media tools, and you are trying to work out what the heck should I post on all of these and not feel like you've got some sort of cohesive message, then today's the day that you want to tune in and listen up because Yulia is going to share with us exactly how we do that. If you are not watching right now inside of the Success Secrets for Business, Family and Life group, I would highly recommend you get on over, find us on Facebook. So it's Success Secrets for Family, Business and Life. And you get yourself into that group because not only will you get to listen to my show, The Unlock Show, but you'll also get to hear from other experts on various different topics that will help you thrive in business, family, and life. So let's get the show on the road. Let me tell you a little bit about Yulia Gladysheva, and I'm so pleased to have her here. So her background, so I was asking her before the show, Yulia, where, did you, where are you from? What's your nationality? And she was telling me that she's from Russia and that she's been in Canada for the last eight years, and she is in my most favorite place in Canada. And I was telling her that my... Uh, my memories on Facebook have just started coming up, but this time, three years ago, I was in her current hometown, Whistler, Canada. It is such a beautiful place. So welcome to today's show, Yulia. We're Thank so you. looking forward to hearing like, about how, you, how we do this. How do we make really cohesive uh, you know, imagery that, that really grab and engage our audience across both you know, across all of our different platforms and drive them to become paying clients of ours. I know that you couple your background of being a documentary photographer, which you were for many, many years, and now coupling the knowledge that you've got with like marketing and sales psychology and everything that you know about photography together that helps people create this. So I'm so glad that you're here with us today. Welcome. Thank you so much and hi everyone. <laughs> So I was telling her that you guys are a really um, engaging group that you will you will message to us and you will let us know um, you know what you're thinking of what we're talking about today and any questions. The way that you do that, guys, is simply by letting uh, Streamyard know that you are here by clicking the button above and then commenting in the comment section. And Yulia and I will get those comments right here inside of the studio. So let's talk about. This whole like what brought you to this point, Yulia? So you were a documentary photographer for many years. Tell us firstly about that, and then the transition that you made to moving out of that that space into doing your own thing. Yes, I started with the documentary photographer. You know, it's uh, the one who doesn't ask you to pause and just take real pictures. For me, it was easy because I just could hide behind my lens and watch other people. So I have, uh, I had been doing it for about uh, 10 years. And actually last year, uh, 2019, I found about personal branding. So it was interesting, uh, it was interesting for me. And uh, I decided to join a very actually uh, great course and I learned what business owners need in terms of pictures. So I started doing it, but uh, pretty soon I realized that I can give way more to people because personal branding is uh, to help people to show who they need to be. And I wanted to show who they are right now. And uh, uh, it happened that I started learning uh, marketing and sales psychology and actually everything what I read, I could translate into images and I had way more to bring to business owners. So 
I moved to the marketing photography and actually it's about it's, it's not about images like a pretty just pretty pictures images could be a marketing tool you just need to know how to use it beautiful I know we I was telling you that we had um somebody on the show Zarina uh last week and she was talking about personal branding and and how important it is to have you know those really great shots that do you know that still capture the essence of who the person is for things like your website and any um you know any material that you have that you're going to use you know over and over and over again the piece of the puzzle that i think a lot of people are really struggling with is they know they can go and get themselves a professional photographer and they might do that occasionally like it might be a once a year or a once a couple of year sort of um you know event because it, it takes a lot of uh effort and uh, mind power to get you to a point where you're ready to go to that sort of level for photography but it's the everyday capturing of these images to enable us to have good quality content that we can utilize across all of our all of our platforms what do, i was really interested to hear what you thought firstly about we were talking about personal branding and then you having that kind of aha moment of hang on a minute there's a disconnect between personal branding and what i'm now seeing people do from an online everyday business perspective how about we talk a little bit about that and what what was that epiphany that you had and, and why why the shift from personal branding to the type of type of photography and message type branding that or message in the imagery that you're doing now yes sure so when i started doing personal branding i saw that the website now can be pretty and beautiful but they cannot keep up on the same level to keep up with the, their social media because they need pictures again and again and yes not everyone can afford photographer like three four times a year and we usually want to be pretty hairstyle makeup so it's all it's a lot of things that uh we just cannot afford always right so actually i found that it's pretty easy to take pictures by themselves so you can ask your family members and you can ask uh, your friends because if you check my instagram or you can check my website most of my pictures uh, were taken by my kids and they are nine and 12. so the trick is if you know exactly what kind of pictures you need everyone take them for you and everyone take pictures of you so it's not about pretty pictures because right now we have a lot of filters we have a great camera in our iphone or other phones it's about you have to be thoughtful because every image has a message and the question is what kind of message are you sending with your pictures so this is was like a turning point for me and uh, actually in my group i asked people do you want to do it yourself or you want to hire a photographer and 90 percent of people just told me we want to do it yourself by, by themselves and it's easy because when you are working with a photographer you have to think forward for three four months because uh, you need to get a lot of images to use them in the near future and sometimes it's difficult for business owners and when you just have an opportunity to take pictures during your daily life it's way easier yeah and i suppose the thing is that in in business like the thing that really does help to to resonate with your audience is allowing them to see you in your everyday state when they can when they can uh you know they're attracted to you because they see oh she's just like me so when you can get that sort of imagery across in any sort of picture or, or social media post i personally find that they are always the ones that that you know go better that that do do well on in a social space is that the sort of thing that you would would you agree with that is that something that you're yes. also saying? Yeah. yeah definitely because uh uh often we can see uh 
there is no balance sometimes between website and their social media. Website is very pretty and we go to the social media to check that this person is a real person and we can see absolutely different stuff. You know, it's a disbalance and it doesn't bring trust so, and also people want to see, like you said, yes, she's like me and uh, she's a normal human being because we are tired from just pretty pictures. People want to see real life, something authentic and actually authentic pictures uh, attract people because we want to see a real life, like what is happening in this picture. It's not just why I stopped doing uh, branding photography because the picture when you pour tea into your cup and look at the camera, it's not a real picture, right? It doesn't tell anything about you because you never pour your tea into your cup and look at something else. You need to look at your cup in your cup. And the same like to take pictures with a laptop by the beach. You will never see the screen when you are at the beach. So I want to so business has to be easy. I want to make it easier for business owners and I know how to do it. And uh, you do not need a lot, just camera, understanding what you need and even not camera, iPhone, right? Or any other phone, understanding what you need and people who can help you around your friends. So. Well, let's, I mean, that's great because that's really just a recipe of, you know, two things, knowing what type of imagery you need and something to take the image on, be it your iPhone or a camera or something of that nature. So let's, let's start there. Let's look at if for somebody whom, um, you know, once a year they go and get some beautiful pictures, they're going to do their website, that that's all taken care of. Then they get home and they go, now I have to start creating some imagery for every day. Like I want to be somebody who's, you know, we know that the more regularly we post online, the more likely the likelihood is that we're going to be seen and we're going to be recognized and we're going to be noticed. But then, like you were saying, there is a disconnect or um, there is no congruency between the pretty, you know, professional looking picture that we have online on their website. You then go to their social media and it's amateur. How do we connect the two of those together and understand, like, what would the process be that someone would go through to understand what should I be posting online and how do I come up with my plan? Ah, oh, such a huge question. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you could have been smaller. Um, so... Do you want me to break to break this down? I'll, I'll break yeah, that into a little component. Bit. Okay, so if I were if I were someone new starting out to wanting to thinking about you know I want to put all of my imagery across all of my social media platforms, and I want to get a consistent theme. How do I come up with that? How do I know what I should be posting? Yes. Yeah, so when uh, people ask me what I have, what I should to post, right? That this simple question but it's a big one so first what i want to say them let's go to your instagram what is written in your bio in your bio uh it should be something about how you can help people right so when people come to your instagram account they want to see what is here for them and this is exactly what we what we need to bring into our images because um, uh, let's say you are a person who help people to lose weight so they can be more active, spend more time with their friends and families, they would eat uh, healthy food. This is exactly what we need to show people, right? So it's, it's not about service, it's not about a product, it's about what kind of transformation people will get by working with by working with you. So, and you are an example for them, and uh, you just have to show your experience in your images through your daily life. This is how you will excite the imagination of 
your people. This is how they identify with your lifestyle. And they will say, okay, I would like the same. I want the same. I want to work with this person because she will bring the same into my life. She did it for herself. She will do it for my, for me. So, I love that. I, I, the reason I love it is because, you know, when often um, when you see, you know, you want to, you want a particular result from somebody and you can start following somebody and see all of the um, very well designed imagery, but it doesn't show you what's going on in their real life. This actually brings a level of transparency to to the picture, so to speak, because you're actually seeing what the person is walking and talking and living what they are talking about and what they're going to be coaching you on. So I love yes. that. Um, yes, we live what we preach, right? So this is yeah. exactly what we need to show because when you open Instagram and you see a person who teach you to live a better life, but instead you see images like quotes and selfies or portraits, what is here for me? What's the message you sent to me, right? I do not see anything about living a better life. And we actually don't have much time to attract people's attention. They spend like 20, 30 seconds on our website or Instagram. This is our opportunity to show them right away how we can help them. It's about them. It's not about us. And the trick I'm doing, the pictures are yours, but they are about your audience first. So the, the, the structure that I'm seeing um, come, come about here is like really understanding that client avatar. Who are they? What are they like? You know, and then understanding what is the outcome? What is the promise that you give them? So when you can understand what, when I'm working with somebody, what is the outcome that I'm that I'm going to be creating for them. What does the transformation look like? Then translating that into all of my imagery. So if I was to do though, to me, if I, I'm very logical, so if I were to do those two things, go and you know look at my Instagram page and look at my bio, is what I'm saying in the bio creating the promised land of where I'm going to take people to? Then do the images that I'm that I'm putting on. Instagram as an example or Facebook or wherever it may yes. be, do they also paint that same picture? Yes, exactly. And the same for website. It's you have to bring this message from your bio or from your main message into your images because again, uh, online presence it's more visual and people are tired to read a lot. So we need to uh, get uh, their attention through through images first, and it's way easier than with the text. And I approach images the same way as copywriting, right? So if you can write a beautiful post, but if you put stock image or just selfie, it just will not help you, right? It doesn't quite create that connection, right? I, I was also reading, um, one of the things I loved about when I was doing it, you know, obviously looking at your bio and looking at your website, you were talking about positioning yourself as a guide. Now, a lot of people talk about like positioning yourself as, as you know, with authority. Talk to me about how you, that this concept of being the guide that then translates into authority. Yeah, usually authority we can show through pictures with other people here and uh, through body language, right? So I put a lot of attention to body language and not a lot of photographers do it. So I teach it to my clients so they can manage it by themselves when they are work working with photographer if they want. So, and uh, yes, it's, it's actually simple. It maybe sounds very difficult, but if you want to show that you are a guide for them, not a hero. So how we how we are showing that we are here? It's just pictures only of us, our selfies and nothing else. But if we invite other people into our images, it could be your friends or it could be your clients, people will see how you make people feel, right? So they will see how they listen to you or 
again, it's all about our hands. So we can, we just cannot not communicate. We always communicate. And through our, through our body language, it will show our authority. For example, you can take pictures from above because in this case, people look at, down at you, right? And I, if I had an opportunity to show the pictures right now, you will see a huge difference when picture taken straight or slightly below. In this case, you look like an authority. Or if pictures taken above, and in this case, your audience look down at you. So those little things you have to keep in mind. And the same, like a lot of pictures we can see like this, right? It's, uh -huh. It doesn't help you to be an authority in this case. You just don't want to talk with people, looks like. Or for example, uh, when essential images are not thoughtful and you can look to the side, not to people. Again, it doesn't show you like an authority and it's not inviting. So I put a lot of attention to these little things for especially images like headers on your website or Facebook. So it's very important. And actually I even know cases when people change their cover pictures and they increase subscribers because on the first picture they were like this and they even didn't look at people. Mm -hmm. And on the second picture, when they changed it, it was more about conversation. They were open and it helps, it helped them to increase their subscribers. Yeah. Yeah, well, you look more inviting. You look like you're more attractive by having an open stance rather than, you know, arms folded in what we would call, you know, that hostile position. So Yeah, and actually, um, I'm sorry. No, go for it. Well, I just wanted to say that uh, not a lot of photographers think about it and keep it in mind during uh, photo session because uh, you can see right now photographers do a lot of things like weddings, families, landscape and plus on top of that they do branding right so for them it's it's a little bit different i know they just invite people to the beautiful location that doesn't have anything with their clients it's just a beautiful location right and they do not um, keep in mind body language i just recently saw a photo session and there are a lot of pictures like this so it's not about branding it's about pretty pictures. Yeah. So yeah, it should be hard. careful with it. Absolutely. Um, the other thing that that I liked, and I think you've alluded to this, and that is showing empathy. So obviously, this our stance, the way that the you know the way that you take the photo, the images that you you know that you put on all of your social platforms, to show some level of empathy with people is really important. I noticed that that was a big thing that you talked about on, on your website too. Yes, uh, again, it's uh, we are showing uh, people how we make people feel. And uh, this is important. If you talk with someone, we want this person be open and listen to us. And again, using body language and using other people in the images, we can show it easily. It's when I put everything in order, it looks pretty easy. There is nothing difficult. You just need to know it. Yeah. And it's interesting because one of the things that, um, you know, you talked about feeling. So I think I've heard you, you sort of talk about that um, a number of times and, and building an emotion into your, your imagery. And I remember um, a while back, and this was through some sales training that I did, you know, years and years ago. But it's it's not about what you say or even what you do, but it's the way in which you make someone feel that they remember the most. So if we can get that, you know, that feeling into your imagery and into all of your your online collateral, that feeling that people have that gets then attached to them will draw them back in and want them to do more business with you because you make them feel good. Yeah, totally. And the best approach with it is documentary photography because you do not ask people to pause. You just watch them. And while they're 
So it can be someone, for example, you can see real emotions, right? And people take pictures at this moment. So that's why this picture, not just why people look at the camera, because in this case, we cannot see emotion, emotions, right? Real emotions. But through documentary photography, we just create real pictures. And it's way easier than just to pause. When we are trying to pause and think about what uh, the dress we have to have or hairstyle, we just do not want to do it because it's difficult. But if it's just real pictures and it's re really how people see us in real life, so it's easy and I'm sure you will like these pictures because they're easy to take and no problems. Beautiful. The other thing that um, that I wanted to talk about was this uh, this thought around you you like filters and like a lot of people are, are when they're they're thinking about oh I'm going to create my own imagery and I'm going to put them onto my on, like onto Instagram for example Instagram is a um, I see that as a really quite a different space in terms of the way in which you you placement of your images compared to somewhere like Facebook given that you've got like a a um, you know, the tiles on, on Instagram with a number of them being seen at once. How can someone get cohesive, uh, I suppose, branding throughout their entire Instagram page? And do, should they use filters? Uh, well, I do not put a lot of attention maybe to it. But for example, when uh, I work with my clients, I suggest them to use their brand colors. If they want, they can be just a little things on the background, or it could be a t-shirt that uh, the same color as their brand color. Uh, you don't need it a lot. It's just subtle on the, like here and there. And about filters, I just, because, when it's a documentary photography, it's a lot of details in the shot because it's not only about you, but it's all about your environment behind you, right? So, and it's interesting because we want to see how people live. We, right now behind you, I can see these beautiful uh, shelves and I can tell something about you. The same in the pictures. When it's a lot of uh, things uh, in the picture, you need to find something calm. The filters that not very, I don't know, bright and colorful, maybe a little bit calm so we can see the story, how the story goes. And also it helps to see emotions first. So because it's not just about beautiful colors, it's about people and uh, calm filters help with it. So again, um, if I can say my Instagram is a good example with this. Yeah. So guys, if you want to go and check out just on that note, because people will want to go and get an idea of what their like Instagram, for example, should look like to create this type of imagery. Where can they go, Yulia? What is your Instagram handle? Uh, it's just yulia.gladysheva. Beautiful. So there you go, guys. You can go and check out her page on Instagram and actually have a look at this in in real life and see you'll get a sense of Yulia's life too. The and see how my kids take pictures of me. Yeah, they do a great they do a great job. I've seen many of them and they've they've yeah they're very very good. Um, you also talked about this um, this sense of and saying I've lost my my train of thought and twice so mm -hmm. I mustn't need to speak about this particular um this particular item ah it was right brain left brain there you go see brain brain didn't get into gear but it was in, in your website you talked about the fact that most people start building their imagery and all of their messaging from a left brain point of view yes when in fact talk to me about this right brain concept so it's about how people buy actually, and most people um, showcasing their features and benefits, right? And actually our right brain that buys, because when we show just features and benefits, we ask people 
to imagine them by themselves, how they are going to use it, right? So for example, you can, like an example, you can take a picture of a cup and post it. So it's just showcasing this cup and uh, people need to burn their mental calories to think about how they, they, how, how they will use it, need them, if they need it or not. But if you take pictures of yourself sitting in a beautiful place, I don't know, with a cup of tea, with this cup and there is forest and beautiful view, you help people to imagine how they can use this cup, right? So they, oh, I want the same. I want to feel the same. This is why I will buy this cup. So in this case, we sell to the right brain because our right brain that buys and it's about imagination how we excite imagination we do it through emotions that's why we need to show up we cannot just show our products and quotes and selfies we, we need to excite imagination of our audience and help them to imagine how they will use it how their life will transform with our products and service, how they will live a better life because this is what they want. They don't want the cup, they want a better life, right? So mm -hmm. it's, it's often, um, I suppose, you know, this comes back to that whole um, psychology of uh, marketing, of understanding, you know, what is the outcome that your that your audience wants, wants, that your prospective buyer wants, and then allowing them in their imagination to transport themselves into that. So like you were saying, you know, if you've got, you're, you're, you're the seller of cups or the seller of, you know, various different types of pens or whatever your product is, is actually getting out from behind the product and constantly having pictures of the product, but actually showing you or how somebody would actually use that product in their everyday life yes certainly and we can see it actually even in magazines right so there are some advertising just a product but if we can see for example a paddle board and we can see people in the lake with the paddle board with their family and we think about this exciting time for ourselves and we want it so yes it's it, it it changes everything. So if I were to put, um, I mean, again, because I'm very, I'm very logical and uh, process oriented. For those of you who have been watching my show for a while, you've probably picked that up. Now, like when I'm listening to you, I'm thinking about, okay, well, what would my process be? You know, I'm very much about, okay, step one, I would do this, then I would do that, and then I would do that. So I, I, I'm, I'm hearing that, again, we would start with that customer avatar, like really, really understanding intimately who the person is that I'm wanting to sell my product to or that I'm wanting to have in my program. When I understand what it is that they want and I understand the challenges or where they are right now, and I can then get an understanding of what the what I would call the disparity gap between where they are now and what they want to have. So, you know, somebody who's got that is not proud of their Instagram page, for example, they've got imagery all over the shop, but they want to have something that actually looks really good, it converts really well, it speaks the language of their of their customer and it converts to sales, then I know what that contrast is, I know where they are and I know where I want to take them, then I can start to create the, my imagery and my messaging that takes them from point A right the way to point b or z in, in this case yes totally and this is exactly what i do i link your audience identity for example to your service i can give you an example let's imagine you are a realtor just the easiest example and you sell houses to families mostly so how we can how we can connect with your audience uh if you are if you have a family as well, so this is exactly what we need to show because when we show that you have a family, you have kids, you have a dog, you have a yard, you have total understanding of what other family needs in terms of a new house because who they will choose to work with, with a young person who doesn't know what family needs or with you because you need 
This family needs uh, a storage for the toys. This family needs uh, a yard for their dog because you have the same. This is how we link their identity into your service and help them to choose you. This is our goal to help people to choose you. So yes, uh, this is how I find things to connect with the audience. And how far in advance would somebody like, let's say, for example, you know, most business owners, they are, they are flat out busy and they know they need to do this, but they just they lack time. How would one start planning or how far in advance should somebody start planning what they should uh, what they should post? Do you plan or is this more of a spontaneous, I'm in the moment, just take a candid shot of what I'm doing on that day? Spontaneous if you like to take pictures like me, but if not, uh, it, doesn't, it will not work. The easiest way is to think about your content for the next month, for example, or for the next two months. And then when you have a content, then you think about images that will illustrate this content. And actually it's uh, very important because most people start from the pictures. They have a picture and then they think what I'm going to post. And I can give you a good, a good example. So I saw a post of a lady who wrote, it's so good to pick up uh, herbs right in front of your door. And uh, she put a picture of herbs, just herbs, like, you know, like a stock image. It's, it's not about her, it's just a product. And when I read her post, I thought, I thought there is an image just in the first sentence. You can ask your husband, for example, to take a picture of you when you are picking herbs right in front of your door. In this case, we can a uh, whole image. We can see your house, we can see your garden. It take, it, it gives us a lot of information about you. And this is how we also build rapport with people because uh, people want to do business uh, with people like us, right? So we need to show them who we are. And, and what, I, what I like about where we're going with all of this is, like I said right at the beginning, it's like this transparency and it almost takes, you know, it brings back the, uh, the control to us as being, you know, small business owners and the consumer rather than them going to, you know, big corporate organisations that are faceless and sometimes even emotionless. I've just got one of the Facebook users saying, today's content, consum uh, content consumers can spot poses before you even blink. If your content seems like it's a cheap sales pitch, then you've already um, alienated your customers. I'd agree yeah. with that. Yes, totally, I agree with it. Yeah. So I'm just looking at um, some of the other content, uh, some of the other comments that are coming through. So we've got Karen here saying that business imagery should make your prospects feel not just take a photo of like a cup, take a photo of that of a person actually using the cup in a powerful or an exciting setting. So I think the you know what we're talking about today isn't you know you're really breaking this down to not be difficult. It doesn't have to be a six month you know, uh, pr planning process and very expensive, got to get my hair done and my makeup done and, you know, buy a whole set of new clothing. I don't have to do any of that. It's like in the moment, understanding, it's like starting with that customer, understanding where it is that you want to take them and then creating your imagery that tells a story and creates the emotion to connect the customer with what it is that you're talking about. Yes, exactly. So again, you see, you can start not from images. Anyway, you need to create content. Anyway, you think about what you're going to bring to your audience for the next month. And if you do it forward, you just save a lot of time. You just sit in and do it. And the same with the images. You created content. You think about pictures you need for the next 30 days. You just can see how you can do it during your daily life. You do not need to do, some, to do something special. If you like to have a cup of tea next time when you are going to have a tea, just ask your kids to take pictures of you when you are doing it. That's it. So and you will create your library. 
okay, if you will hit a certain level of success, you can hire a photographer. And in this case, the same bring him this list of images you need and you will work on it. Because actually the biggest mistake that business owners do is they expect photographers know what they need. And photographers, they do not know what you need, right? So they expect it their clients to know what they need. So we end up with two people who do not know what <laughs> this client needs. And then there are a lot of disappointments and I hear about it like again and again. So that's why I started working with business owners because it's their business. Images is their marketing tool. So they have to know what kind of images they need and when they need it, they will, they can use a help of a photographer or their family members or friends. So this, these are some great steps and some great ideas about how you can get started really quickly. Just using, you know, the the, the camera that you have, your your iPhone or you know your um, Android camera, as long as your Android phone, phone, sorry, as long as it's got you know a decent a camera on it, you can snap away throughout the day and have you know, really great shots that you're able to use. But I like the fact that you talked about people do often make the mistake of starting with the photograph and just snapping a whole lot of photos without necessarily thinking about their content. With what you've talked about today, it's thinking about the content, understanding what it is that I'm going to post, then creating an image that is going to marry the, the, what, the written word with the visual. Yes, so the land did save a lot of time, really. Beautiful. I love, we're, we're going to wrap up in just a moment, but I love the fact, I love having people on the show who have got like really vast backgrounds and are coming from all sorts of different nationalities. The fact that you've, you know, you've, you came from Russia, you were a documentary um, photographer there, completely picked your life up, moved to a brand new country and have started your entrepreneurial journey as a credit to you. Oh, thank you so much. It's it's not an easy feat to do that in your own country where you're familiar, let alone, you know, starting something brand new in a in a in a brand new country. So um, the Unlock Show is all about that, is all about like helping people to live their best life. And if that means that you want to pick up and you're going to move to a completely new country, then go for it what I say. Yeah. Okay. So I want to leave today with letting our viewers know where they can connect with you. So the first place is obviously through Instagram. And then uh, secondly, you guys can also go over and Yulia has got a, um, a group that you can also join if you so wish to, which has got uh, where, she sh where she showcases and shows people how to do this on uh, a more detailed level. So I'm just going to pop that on here. Images for your business. You can go and check Yulia out there. And before we leave, Yulia, is there anything else that you would like to leave everybody with as parting messages or anything that we haven't covered today that you think would be super important? Yeah, I would say the takeaway, the most important thing is first look at your message, what you want to bring to your audience, how you can help them. It's about them. And then think about how you can put it into your images. So it's all about transformation that your clients will get from working with you. And you are as an expert and you are an example because you already done it for yourself. You show how you do it for yourself through what kind of steps you do it for yourself and you just translate it into images. And this is how you will build Trust. This is how people will know you and like you, and you don't need a photographer. Not so always. Can, if you have time oh. and if you like it, you can do it by yourself. Absolutely. I you. And it's having it's it's using these skills to then create 
building empathy and creating that authority. So I want to thank you very much for being on the show today. It's been an absolute pleasure having you. Loved you. hearing about your story. We talked a little bit before uh, we actually jumped on the show. And I know that Yulia's got some really neat things coming out over the, over the coming months with some new programs and things that you're creating to help people do this. And you will be their guide in terms of helping them create really cohesive brands to grow their business through imagery. So yes. I'm looking forward to seeing that come yeah. out too. So, hey, guys, I want to say thank you very much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure having both Yulia as a guest and you guys with me on The Unlock Show. If you're watching on any of the channels, don't forget, head on over to Business uh, Success Secrets for Business, Family and Life. It's a Facebook group. You can come and join us in there and ask questions after the show. That's where we communicate with all of our community. And secondly, if you are listening to this on a podcast, welcome. Thank you for downloading the podcast. If you find this useful, please share it with your friends. If you are not currently a podcast subscriber, head on over to iTunes and you can iTunes or Stitcher or you know any other any of the other about eight different platforms that I am currently on. You can go and find Unlocked with Tracy Wilson, and you'll be able to download it as a podcast and be able to listen instead of having to dial in and uh, watch online. So thank you very much for joining me. As I said, I will be back on Friday. I'm taking you guys to a very special location, very timely that Yulia should be talking about letting people see into your life well if you want to get a little bit of a glimpse into what's going on in my life and what I'm up to this weekend I would suggest you dial in on Friday join me live on the Unlock show because I will be showing you you'll get to see what I get up to in my spare time hmm. so have fun have a great uh, rest of the week I'll see you guys on Friday thanks for watching the Unlock show I'm Tracy Wilson and I'll be back with you again soon bye bye